cases. People were hurt so badly they had to be hospitalized. The department released a statement that says, in part, we are currently waiting for the victims to recover in order to garner all the facts surrounding these incidents. And they're asking anyone with any video to come forward. Now, we know one protester was hit in the face with a non-lethal pellet, but he lost his eye. Kevin Reese spoke with that man's father about what they're now dealing with. Early Saturday afternoon as protesters approached a line of officers on Wood Street at the Dallas Public Library near City Hall, a shot rang out. 25-year-old Brandon Sains fell to the ground, a direct hit to his left eye. Friends picked up what looks like a wooden pellet nearby. It's a sponge round, a less than lethal round commonly used in crowd control. He's in bad shape. And I just, just what happened, man, it's just un, it's uncalled for. Today, his you know, dad told me doctors have removed the remaining pieces of that eye. His left side of his face is shattered. His jaw is twisted. His teeth are knocked out. It's just so many things that's going on with my son right now that I never would thought I would see. Go, bro, go. Video captured a similar incident near Hervé and Commerce the same afternoon. Another protester also hit in the face near his eye. Yeah. His condition is unknown. But as for Brandon Saints, I just want to thank everybody for looking out for me. His eye yeah, is gone and more surgeries cool are likely. Children. This family deserves answers from the city. Their attorney uh, is the same who represented the family of Botham Jean. And he was only here peacefully protesting in support of other victims of police brutality. And now he's in the house, field, uh, a victim himself of police brutality. This afternoon, in a written statement to WFAA, Dallas police say they are aware of the two incidents and that we take these matters very seriously. Rest assured, there will be a full investigation and we will continue to keep the public informed on the status of the investigations. The thing that's most hurting is that we had individuals who were out protesting the very thing that was done to Brandon. The uh, officers using excessive force when it's not reasonable. Obviously, they will say that they were doing their job, but doing your job is not shooting someone in the eye. In Dallas, I'm Kevin.